Welcome back to my channel. Rocket Today, we are diving deep into one of the most incredible and groundbreaking experimental aircraft ever built by the United States, a machine that broke records, pushed the boundaries of science and engineering, and laid the foundation for future space exploration. I'm talking about the mighty X-15 rocket plane. This is not just another aircraft story. This is a journey into the history of aviation, the pursuit of extreme speed and altitude, and the price of innovation in US dollars that made the X-15 one of the most expensive yet valuable research programs of its time. So, sit back and stay with me until the very end as we explore this marvel of American engineering in full detail. The X-15 was developed during the height of the Cold War, when the United States was not just competing with the Soviet Union on Earth but also in the skies above and the space beyond. Built by North American Aviation, the same company that later created the famous F-86 Sabre and even worked on the Apollo program, the X-15 was designed as a research aircraft unlike any other. Its purpose was not to win air battles or drop bombs but to test the limits of speed, altitude, and human endurance in near space flight. In fact, many historians call the X-15 program the true stepping stone between aircraft and spacecraft. It bridged the gap between supersonic jets and orbital rockets. Now let's talk about what made this machine so revolutionary. The X-15 looked more like a rocket than a plane, with its long, sleek fuselage, short wings, and black, heat-resistant skin. It was 50 feet long, had a wingspan of only about 22 feet, and stood just over 13 feet high. The entire aircraft was built with specialized alloys like Inconel X to withstand the incredible heat generated by hypersonic flight. At speeds exceeding Mach 6, yes, six times the speed of sound, the friction with the atmosphere could heat the skin of the plane to over 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Traditional aluminum aircraft would have melted instantly, so the engineers had to invent entirely new materials and construction methods just to make the X-15 possible. Speaking of speed, let's break down the performance. The X-15 was powered by the Mighty Reaction Motors XLR-99 rocket engine. This beast of an engine generated about 57,000 pounds of thrust, and it wasn't like a normal jet engine. It burned liquid oxygen and anhydrous ammonia, making it more like a rocket booster strapped to a piloted vehicle. This rocket engine allowed the X-15 to reach speeds of Mach 6.7, which is about 4,520 miles per hour or over 7,200 kilometers per hour. Just imagine that for a second, traveling faster than a rifle bullet, zooming from Los Angeles to New York in less than an hour. No passenger aircraft today, not even the Concorde in its prime, could come anywhere near this speed. But it wasn't just about speed, it was also about altitude. The X-15 could climb to altitudes of over 354,000 feet, which is about 107 kilometers above Earth. That is well into the region we now call the edge of space. In fact, several of the X-15 flights crossed the internationally recognized Kármán line, meaning that the pilots of the X-15 were technically considered astronauts. NASA and the U.S. Air Force awarded astronaut wings to several X-15 pilots for their high-altitude flights, making the program not only about fast aircraft but also about early human spaceflight. Now, let's talk about the pilots themselves. The X-15 program had some of the most daring test pilots in history, including Neil Armstrong, who would later become the first man to walk on the moon. Armstrong flew seven X-15 missions before joining the Gemini and Apollo programs. Other legendary names included Joe Engel, Robert White, and William Knight, who set the record for the highest speed ever achieved by a piloted aircraft at Mach 6.7 in October 1967. These men risked their lives on every flight because the X-15 was not an easy machine to fly. It required split-second decisions, precise handling, and nerves of steel. The way the X-15 was launched also makes it unique. Unlike traditional aircraft that take off from a runway, the X-15 was carried under the wing of a modified B-52 Stratofortress bomber. Once the B-52 reached an altitude of around 45,000 feet, the X-15 was released, and the pilot would ignite the rocket engine, blasting the aircraft into the sky at speeds and altitudes never before experienced. After burning its fuel in less than two minutes, the X-15 would glide back to Earth like a space shuttle.